What is up YouTube, Holy Pepsi here, and I'm going to be doing a rant video, and this video is going to be about blue mics. Now, I will say that blue mics has a very good microphone when it works, but um, I've been having some issues with mine, and I did a driver video a while back, and a lot of people like that, and I've been seeing in the comment section that a lot of people are having the basically the blue microphone not responding or not being detected by Windows. It just come up as an unknown USB device. So uh gonna be going over it, I'm gonna be going over the fix, and uh hopefully this will help you. So first off, there is no fix. There there is no fix what I could figure out. Mine decided to work again, and I'm gonna be going over everything I know that maybe will help you, but most likely won't. So uh today I was recording gameplay about seven hours ago, actually not seven hours ago, more like ten hours ago, right? And I was basically doing a really good league game got an amazing like level four i got like i killed three people then the pr first person i killed ran back and then i killed him again so i thought that was hilarious i was gonna put that on youtube so i went to edit the clip i went uh listen to the sound footage or i should say the video footage and the sound quality was absolute crap the reason why the sound quality was crap is because my mic or my webcam it's microphone was recording it not my 250 dollars microphone was recording it so uh i was like to hell why is that happening well guess what this seems like my web or uh, my 250 dollars mic just suddenly decided i'm not gonna work and it had the drivers it was working fine yesterday it had not been unplugged so it's been hooked up the same way it's been for the past three months without a problem just Side randomly, I'm not gonna work, which I could not understand why. So, uh, despite that, I was pretty damn pissed, and I was trying to figure out whatever I could do to actually make it work. So, uh, I looked up online, and they were like, "Yeah, just go and uh, try some new USB cables. That usually works." Now. I have had this problem in the past, but I was able to get it fixed within like two to three hours. I did one time have to format my computer and it was ridiculous, but it did end up working. But it was a, I want to say a kind of a temporary fix because I did have the problem again. But again, I got it working with just trying a new USB port about two or three times. And uh, this time it was like about seven, eight, maybe 10 hours before it. I want to actually say it was four four hours after the first problem arise because I uninstalled the driver, right? And to ins reinstall the driver for the Blue Yeti Pro, the, the Windows actually has to detect the microphone plugged in. It won't just install the driver regardless. It actually has to detect a, a microphone so it can install the correct driver. So I was messing around with all these cables right here. Okay. All these cables right here, there's 10 of them, right? None of them worked. I tried every single port on my PC. None worked. That's 10 cables that will power up every single device. It'll power up my Avermedia Gamer Live Portable right here. It'll power up my Elgato. It'll power up my other bl Blue Yeti mic that I do try to scam me on. It will power up my mix amp, which is currently plugged in. And it will power up the damn Blue Yeti Pro without a problem. It just won't get detected by Windows. So, your first initial reaction is, it's getting power, USB cables work, has to be a Windows problem. You know, that's what people would think, right? Except for the fact that I have two computers in my house. So I plugged into the other computer and guess what happened? Wasn't detected. I went and tried to install the drivers to make sure it just wasn't a driver issue. Same thing, not detected. So there is something wrong with this microphone's uh, mini USB port that is just magically making it work and not work, which is absolutely ridiculous. So the consistency on this item is pretty freaking bad. It works time to time, but the fact that it can just randomly stop working is ridiculous. So uh, yeah, pretty pissed about that. So, I'm going to do a little comparison here because, obviously, you've already seen my two capture cards. I'm going to be going over uh, what I think about uh, Blue's supports uh, return policy because I've already, 
I uh, tried to RMA one of my blue uh, Yeti Pro mics, the first one I had. They're like, did you buy from an authorized dealer and still have the receipt? I'm like, no. Oh, sorry. We can't fix it then. So you made the microphone, right? You, you personally made this microphone. No one else did. But you won't take it back because I didn't buy from an authorized dealer. That's like saying, hey, you bought this from someone else. So... Sorry, even though I created it, I have a warranty on it. It doesn't matter unless you have proof that you bought it from an authorized dealer. That doesn't make any sense. That's stupid. That's retarded. Uh, you should fix it no matter what the problem is if it's under warranty. And it shouldn't matter if I have to have proof of an authorized dealer because why does that matter? You're supposed to uh, use the warranty on it anyways. It shouldn't matter. But that's just another way that companies get out of, get out of basically repairing something that costs literally less than 10 cents. Like, oh my gosh, they actually have to repair the, uh, the USB port. Damn, that's a grand total of 15 cents. Oh, they have to replace the entire microphone that they sold for $250. Wow, that's about $10 for them. Uh, yeah, they can make this microphone for about $10, yet they sell it for $250. I understand that they have to do research and development, but that doesn't change the fact that you go off and you sell people stuff, and it just breaks down within two years when it's supposed to be high quality, right? High quality items don't break after two years. My Hapog that I had, which was my first, uh, I want to say real capture card that I had, because I had a Dazzle back in the day, but Dazzle was pretty crap. But even the Dazzle, it consistently worked. It didn't just randomly stop working, right? But uh, my Hapog, if I still had it today, would still record fine. There wouldn't be a problem with it. My Elgato, it works fine. There's not a problem with it. Now, let's go look at the Avermedia Gamer Live Portable, okay? This is one capture card that pisses me off. So, uh, this was the first capture card I got, was the Avermedia Live Gamer Portable, or I should say, after my Hapog. So I bought the Hapog, uh, do, did gameplay videos for it, sold it, because I no longer did gameplay videos, and then I got into doing gameplay videos again, but wanted a higher quality capture card, so I bought the Ga Avermedia Gamer Live Portable, worked for about five months, then it got the Blue Ring of Death, which is the equivalent of the Xbox 360's Red Ring of Death, it was overheating, and uh, would stop working. So, went off rma it, got uh, a new one back, used it for about 10 days, then waited about two months later to go and uh, play, what was it, I think it was like Zelda or something like that, and it was not being detected by XSplit, and it kept on freezing. So, it basically had the exact same problem that the other one did. So, I went off and tried to RMA it, and they're like, sorry, we've already done a return on this. I'm like, yeah, that's right, you have, but it's worked. it was working for about like two months. That's ridiculous. They're like, Sorry, you're SOL. We can't do anything for you. It's like, seriously? That's how you treat your customers? It, it's cost like $2 to make if that. You sell it for $125 and you're like, yeah, sorry. We rushed a product out to market and we know that it wasn't going to actually last long. But uh, yeah, keep buying our products. That's the reason why I have an Elgato. Because, you know, fuck Avermedia. They want to basically have really crappy software. I don't care if I get sponsored by them or not. Why the hell do I want to get sponsored by a shitty company I get that basically produces shitty items? Doesn't make sense. So that's basically a piece of trash right now. Uh, the Elgato Gamer Life, or not Gamer Life portable, but Elgato Gaming uh, HD60 works fine. I uh, haven't had a problem with it. Works fine with x and everything, so I was very happy with that. But, uh, yeah, you just get bullshit like this. And the thing that really pisses me off is about warranty issues. You shouldn't have to have to have proof if you can just give them a serial number and be like, hey, this is the microphone. I bought it from, that, I bought it from XYZ person. It doesn't matter who I bought it from, actually. It matters that it's still in warranty. You owe me to get it fixed. And it's really annoying when they try to basically beat around the bush and be like, sorry, we can't replace this. Because it's ridiculous that they get away with this stuff and people are just get scammed. Um, as for this microphone, right, uh, this is the basically what I got from buying off of eBay. I ended up getting scammed, kind of. <coughs> I did get a majority of my money back. 
But uh, they were selling this as a Blue Yeti Pro, which it's not a Blue Yeti Pro. It's a Blue Yeti Blackout Edition, which is the Blue Yeti Standard that Amazon sells. Which, uh, they, why would they even, why, why make that? Like, the Blackout Edition has a black top. But this was, I guess, the first wave of the Blackout Edition. So they just made a Pro without a gradient on it. So from a low resolution photo picture from a phone, it looks like a Blue Yeti Pro. And that's the reason why I ended up buying it, which was absolutely ridiculous. So as you can tell, I'm pretty pissed off. I've had to waste basically half of my day today trying to get my microphone to work. And it has been the most frustrating thing ever. Uh, thanks for watching the video. If you do have this problem, I am so sorry for you. Uh, you're pretty much screwed. My microphone randomly started to work as I was recording one of these videos. I was basically doing like a... Uh, demonstration of when it was going to pop up the air and it didn't pop up the air even knowing i've tried the same usb slot with the same cord just randomly decided to work i can't explain it your guess is as good as mine so thanks for watching peace out